Hey guys, what's up? This is Daz with Hyperlink Media with a really quick and easy tutorial. Since the 4th of July is just around the corner, I figured, you know, we might may as well make some fireworks. Okay, so this is really simple, guys. Uh, all we're going to need are, are about five things. We're going to need an emitter, materials, a plane, motion blur, and highlights. Okay, so without any further ado, let's go ahead here. I'm going to grab this emitter. Okay, there's our emitter. Let's double click into the in the materials box. And there's our material. And let's go over here and grab a plane. There's our plane. And uh Let's just get our Our mo motion blur here since we're here okay I'm just gonna change the orientation here to negative Z of the plane we want the uh, width segments to be one and one and the width to be about 10 and 10 I want this really small because they're gonna be the sparks Okay, and let's go over to the emitter, and let's see, for this, we're going to want this, the, the emitter size, gonna, gonna want it all the way down, and for the angle uh, horizontal, gonna bring that all the way up as far as it can go, which is 360, and the angle vertical will be 180, so just drag those all the way up. And let's go into the particles. We're gonna need lots of particles because these are the sparks. So about 1500 should be good. 1500 and 1500. And we just want a quick shot or a burst. So they're only gonna emit for about five seconds or so. So let's, uh, frames I mean. So let's go to five frames. In fact, let's go up here and change the uh, frame rate to uh, I'm going to change it to 24 frames 24 <clears throat> and we're also going to uh, up this to about mm, I don't know 5 seconds so 5s which is uh, 120 frames there okay so let's see so, so what else do we need here the lifetime let's say that's about a second and a half, so maybe 45. Let's let's just say two seconds. So about 60 frames. Since uh, let's just say 2s. So 48 frames. And the speed we're gonna want to uh, jet out pretty quick. So let's say about 600. The rotation we're gonna want. A 360 rotation and by doing that the uh, the plane will look like it's sort of glistening and uh, let's have a little variation on the lifetime I don't want it to look too perfect and also the speed just a little bit and the end scale we're gonna want it down to zero we want it to uh, gradually disappear And uh, let's see. So that's pretty much it. So let's let's just drag the plane into the emitter, and that's sort of it for this. Except for let's go over to motion blur and bring that up to 150. Okay. So now let's work on the material. Double click this. We're gonna uncheck color and specular, and we're gonna check luminance now what we're gonna do here is select uh, say we want a red firework and that looks pretty doggone red but we're gonna up the brightness to about a thousand and we actually want this to look white 
So it starts out as a white, uh, sort of like a white fiery sort of explosion, and then gradually it turns red over time. And I'll show you how, how that's achieved. But let's uh, change this color to red. Not Ted. Probably not Ted. Although that was a pretty good movie. I love Seth, Seth MacFarlane. But anyway. Okay, so it's still not looking white. So let's go into the color and just ease it up just a little bit. Now it looks white. And you know, you can, you can have as many colors as you want. And... Uh, I'm, I'm going to demonstrate that a little bit later. So that's almost, that's pretty much it, guys. So let's, let's put this color on the emitter. And let's see what we have here. Let's zoom out a little bit. So that's kind of what we're after here. Now... I'm going to add one more thing that I didn't uh, discuss in the beginning, and that will be a um, a uh, gravity. Let's go into the emitter tab and grab a gravity. Let's scale this up some. Scale this up to fit the entire explosion that should be about right okay so let's see yes the whole thing fits so as you can see it's sort of uh, it's affected by the gravity a little bit okay so in order to see like the sparkles let's, let's sort of turn on the uh, show objects it's probably gonna be a little slow but that's fine as you can see they're sort of like glistening here as they sort of rotate you know you get to see the f the flat side and then the uh, when it's on its side it sort of looks like it's disappearing okay so uh, let's do a quick render of this once it's up and going and see what we have now you can't really see much now let's let's bring this down here. You can't really see much now, like at all. You can barely even make it out. <clears throat> but don't you worry, kids. Because what the uh motion blur is gonna do is it's gonna streak these colors out. So let's go into uh the render settings. Bring this up to, I don't know, 460, 180. Let's say all frames. I'm gonna bring this down to 24 also. You can do whatever frame rate you want, but my, my computer's really slow, so. Which makes this a good effect because, you know, you don't even need a great, you know, eight quad computer to make this effect look good. Okay, let's go into quick time movie into options open up these options here bring this to 24 frames as well I usually bring this down to 92 that ought to work <coughs> aliasing but anti-aliasing best animation bring that down to 2 this is just to make you know to make it a little faster and okay so the, so the last thing we need is the highlights so let's go into the effects and bring up a highlight okay let's bring this threshold down a bit to about there that should be fine let's bring this intensity way down not that far down so uh maybe to 30 let's bring the flare size down as well maybe the same you just play with these till you get whatever you look you're looking for and uh, for the preset we're gonna I want a soft street but again you can play with some of these and see see what effects you come up with 
Okay, so we're pretty much done with this. So let's do a quick render of this. And so as you can see, it's it's it has this sparkling sort of effect. Maybe the flares are a little bit big, so let's bring the size down just a touch. Let's check and see what that is. Yeah, that looks that looks a little bit more realistic. Okay, so um this is 120 frames and it should go really fast like I said even though my computer is so slow let's check out and see what the uh, motion blur is doing in fact I'm glad I mentioned it because we, now we have to just grab a uh, object motion blur and set this to 150 as well alright and that should be it guys so Let's do a quick render and I'll be right back. In fact, before I uh render it out, I just want to I just want to check out and see what this motion blur is doing with this effect here before I um pause it. Okay, so it bursts out. And as you can see the uh blur is sort of making these uh streaks. And you know, if you don't like this effect, you don't have to use it. I think the the highlight will be just perfectly fine on the song. But anyway, uh, let's pause the video and I'll come back and show you the uh, the finished render. Okay, I'm back and uh, it finished rendering. It took about I don't know a minute and ten seconds, which is for 120 frames is it's ridiculous, especially because my computer is so slow. But uh, earlier I promised I would show you uh, how to do a two color. So let's just copy this one. And let's just change some of the emitter properties. We want the speed to be a little bit faster. We want it to sort of shoot out faster than the first one. So let's say 700 speed. And uh, we want to make it a little later in the, uh, the lifetime. So about half of this lifetime. So about 24 frames. We're going to start it. starting mission let's say 31 here and 24 here okay so let's see how they both look together boom boom let's make the speed a little bit higher and a little bit earlier uh, let's say it's about 20 frames 20 to 25 okay boom boom let's copy this change this to blue and grab the blue bring it up slightly so it's also red I mean wh uh, white initially and uh, this th this is the red we're gonna change this material to the blue and I'm gonna render this out and pause and show you the uh, show you the effect I'll be right back okay it's all done rendering the second one took a uh, minute 25 Let's, so let's check them out. Uh, here's the first one, the one color one. Let's rewind this. Watch that. That's pretty cool. It sort of sparkles. And uh, here's the second one. I zoomed out a little bit so you can sort of see a little bit better. And that's about it, guys. So, um... All right, thanks a lot. This has been Daz with uh, Hyperwink Media with a quick tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.